Hey guys, it's your girl Sydney and I am actually back to sit down and talk to you. I know I have not done this in a long time. My fan is on because it is hot, 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 hot. And I just wanted to sit down and have a little chit chat. I haven't done this in a while, kind of like a catch up together because I feel like we haven't been able to do that. So, okay, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the kind words. Um, I don't really go on social media as much as I used to because it really does negatively affect me. There's a lot of people that are mean, rude, crazy. Like I have had to deal with a lot of stalkers and uh, get restraining orders and stuff that like, I just have hit this point where, you know, privacy is everything for me. I've been dating for like a long time, like a couple years now, haven't found anyone. And like the last couple of dates, either people have come up to me on the date and like asked me for a picture, which like was totally fine with me. Or I've actually been on dates with guys who like are huge fans of mine. And like, I didn't know until like we were on the date, which like kind of was the scary part because I wouldn't care, but they didn't tell me ahead of time. And then like, they knew way too much about me, but they didn't tell me. So like they played dumb until like later, which is really hard. Um, and it doesn't bother me if people know who I am because obviously like I'm on the internet. I put myself out there um, It's honestly like to me flattering when people know who I am because that means that I'm their type um, But I haven't had like catch up in a long time just because like I've been so focused on like myself my healing my journey and I wanted to sit down and just like have a chit chat and I want you guys to comment your thoughts down below if you're going through the same things I'm going through if you know you have commentary opinion like I would love to hear it um so a lot of people are asking about my podcast dirty ceo I will most likely be starting that up again really soon um the thing about having a podcast and then doing everything myself is the fact that like every single thing that I'm doing I do myself so like I and sometimes I do have help with things like if I need help with like a graphic or if I need help with like you know my friends they sometimes come over and like we have like a little you know sesh where like we brainstorm together but pretty much everything that I do my socials all that is me and it's really hard to keep up with that including the podcast like if I'm shooting the podcast I'm the one setting it up I'm the one sitting there if I have someone on the podcast I'm the one organizing who's on it um just like organizing who I'm shooting with for my other sites and stuff and then you know YouTube I've been doing for you know almost 13 years now and it kind of has hit the back burner but not on purpose it's only because I'm doing all these things and it's so hard to keep up with every single thing individually so I just wanted to be like super clear and transparent because I've had a lot of messages on my other site of people asking me when I'm going to come out with another episode of Dirty CEO and I plan this is like my game plan I don't want to jinx it but my game plan is I'm going to continue shooting some more episodes then I'm gonna have to sit down and edit them upload them schedule them I fall so far behind like if you guys knew I have to pre-shoot a lot of like episodes you like you, you know if I'm editing YouTube I have to do all of that with like focus you know so if I'm doing all these other things it's really hard to keep up with everything and then if I have like a guest on that or a friend comes over and we have some fun on the other place that I'm on like you know and if you guys know what I'm talking about it'll make sense but if you don't don't worry <laughs> um but it's really hard to keep up with all that so I just wanted to be clear like dirty CEO podcast I have not like ended it or anything I just like had a death in the family in December and I was really focused on like family and healing and going through kind of like I haven't really grieved that yet, but like I, and then my uncle passed away um, right before that other person that was really close to me passed away. So like, I haven't really like, you know, had time to like feel my emotions and I've been doing it bit by bit versus like a lot of people, you know, everyone grieves differently. Like a lot of people though, they like take some time off. Like I can't really do that because I have bills. So I wanted to sit down and explain like dirty CEO, what I've been up to. Now I wanted to dive a little deeper into like the dating stuff. So recently you guys, I have been like actively on dating apps and here's the biggest thing I wanna say. If you message or match with me, like if you're matching with me on a dating app and the profile 
does not have my name, Sydney, it is definitely not me. Do not talk to someone that has like my picture, but not my name because my name is actually Sydney, you guys. Like I want to be so clear that like, I feel like a lot of people, like they talk to these people. Um, like I know that there's scammers that are on Facebook and Instagram and like other socials. And then their names on there are like random names, like Samantha or like whatever. That is not me. Please do not fall for the scams. I am not like, you know, I've already said it a million times. I am not, you know, if you fall for it, you fall for it. The only place that I talk to people and ask them for like money is on my other site. You're never going to find me asking for it on social media. You're never going to ask me, see me asking for it when we go on a date. Like I, when I'm on dating apps, I'm on there to find love. I'm not on there to like get money out of you guys. Like I want to be so serious. But like, please be careful. I know that you guys know that I'm on dating apps. I know that a lot of you guys have matched with me. And you know, I should start making like a sticker that I give people that match with me on dating apps. It's kind of like a little trophy, right? But I just wanted to be so clear because it has become really bad with like a lot of my friends too that uh, do what I do. They all have all these people making like fake profiles of them. So I just wanted to be so clear that if it doesn't even have my name, don't even fall for it. I don't message people on social media. So if you're getting messages from me it's not me if we match on a dating app um it should have my name and my pictures they should not be old pictures of me either and yeah so i just wanted to be so clear with that the other thing too is like i feel like for me with dating and i don't know if anyone else can relate and i don't know why i'm putting this in a video but i have always shared with youtube and you know social media about my life from time to time but I feel like dating has gotten so hard. I feel like I'm a very chatty and like adventurous person and open-minded and stuff. And dating has gotten really hard. Like the last couple dates that I've been on have been really like, I'm not going to say boring, but like I've always felt like I was like the science experiment. Like I feel like um, there's so much more to me than just like what I do. And like there's Sydney. Like I want someone to get to know Sydney and like, you know, want to like get to know me and build a connection and chemistry. And like, I don't know if anyone else feels like dating apps have changed so much, but like, I feel like before COVID things were so different and now things have changed drastically. And uh, yeah, like I want to get to know someone. I want to take the time to get to know them. I've also had guys just immediately get like super like pushy about like locking it down and i don't know this is where i want everyone's opinion is that normal like is it normal to like want to lock it down after the first date because and like be my boyfriend be my girl like make me your girlfriend like i don't think that that's normal but is it because i like to like take time and get to know someone and build a connection and like chat and and go on a date and be treated like a princess like genuinely you guys I, I'm opening up way more than I like normally do. I feel like a lot of the time I have like a wall up and I feel like I definitely have a wall up when it comes to dating just because of how badly I've been treated in the past. But like I told myself this year, I said, Sydney, you want to be treated like a princess. You want to be, have a guy that holds the door open for you. You want to have him, you know, like want to pay for the first date, which to other people that might sound silly, but like I haven't really had that experience like dating and stuff. Like I have been the type of person that has always been the one like somehow paying. I don't know how, like, you know, they say, oh, like you got this. And I'm like, oh, awkward, you know? And it's not about like the money. Like it's about like the fact that like, I want someone that wants to be on a date bad enough with me. And I'm not saying like, I haven't had guys do that in the past, but like, it's just like, now I want to set the standard that like, if we're going to go on a date, like I want you to like me so much to the point where like the first date like you are so chivalrous you open the door for me you make you know make the conversation like real you know about us versus like surface level topics and i want to have a good time like i actually recently went on a date with this guy to an alpaca farm and it was so much fun and like it was probably like the best date i've been on in a really really long time the only thing that went wrong after is like he waited like way too long. I'm talking like two weeks to see me again. And like, I want someone that like, I don't want to be like attached to someone at the hip by any means, you know? I don't know what you guys feel about that, but like he waited a little too long to make me feel like he actually like wanted to spend time with me again. But like the alpaca farm was so cute and it was such a fun date. And he like opened the door for me and stuff. And that's kind of what made me realize like, I really want a man who's chivalrous 
and like I'm a very like the way that I am like I'm a bubbly goofy girl I love to love like I definitely am like a hopeless romantic like but I feel like I'm hitting this era where like I'm independent right but I'm also hitting this era where like I want a man that like wants to take care of me and like I've never felt that way before, but I know that I'm getting to the point where like, I do eventually want to have kids. And like, when I do meet the right guy, I like want to feel secure and safe with him. And I don't know if anyone else feels that way or if anyone's looking for like that type of similar relationship, but I feel like it's hard. Like I've never had that. I mean, I guess I've slightly had that mentality, but not in the way that I do now where like, I feel like confused. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I just wanted to open up and talk about that because I feel like it's really confusing when you want someone to like you enough to do those things, but I know not everyone is like grows up and does those things. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Either way, I'm going to get into more of that when I film some more podcast episodes, but I just wanted to like sit down and have a chit chat and like I, uh, yeah, like I just appreciate everything. I love being able to sit and chat and like talk and catch up. Um, as you can tell, I'm probably in my feels a little bit too much today. But anyways, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video, getting to know me a little bit better if you were curious about some answers that I answered in this video. And I just wanted to show you my outfit because I know that that's kind of fun to do. But this is what I'm wearing. It's this top and then this shorts probably have a line on my 